Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to solve first PUC computer science lab programs, third Excel lab program. Enter the following details for 10 students, register number, name, subject 1 marks, subject 2 marks, subject 3 marks, subject 4 marks, total marks and percentage. Here they have given the format of a table. We have to write the same here in a Excel. I am going to write test marks data of a class. Press enter. In the first column, second row, I am going to write register number. And next, I am going to press tab. In the next column, I am going to write name and press tab. I am going to write subject one marks. In the next column, I am going to write subject two marks and in the third column I'm going to write subject three marks and in the next column subject four marks and press tab here I'm going to calculate total marks press tab in the next column we are going to calculate percentage so here you can read the first question is type the register number, name and marks of four subjects for 10 students in the spreadsheet. So we are going to apply the first question over here. So I'm going to go for selecting this particular cell up to here and then click on center, merge and center. Next, register number. It is not visible. I'm going to click on wrap text. Next, subject one marks is not visible. I'm going to click on wrap text. Similarly, for subject two, click on wrap text and subject three, wrap text, subject four, wrap text, even for total marks, wrap text. And here also you can see percentage is crossing the limit or width of this particular column. You can double click here so that it can, it can adjust the column width to the text length. Next, here I'm going to enter register number one and two. I'm going to select both of these two cells using fill handle. I'm going to drag and up to 10 student register numbers. I'm going to drop. Now I'm going to enter any 10 students names. You can randomly enter any name. I'm going to enter here. For example, Shankar. I'm going to enter Pooja. Then I'm going to enter Ramya. I'll write Raju. Then Ramu. And even uh, I'm going to write uh, Hema, Gauri, I'll write Ganesh, Kasturi, after that I'll write Jagadish. Yes, so I've written 10 students name and I need to enter 4 subject marks. So for example, I'm going to enter 35, 45, 35, 35. Okay, so these are the 4 subject marks. Next, I'm going to enter 50, 55, then I'm going to enter 58, then 54. Next, I'm going to enter marks like 60, 65, 66, 68. Okay, so the next row, I'm going to enter marks like 70, 75, 72, 74. The next row, I'm going to enter 80, 85, 82, 84. Similarly, you can write 90, 95, 98, then 95 once again. Next, I'm going to enter the number such as 78, 88, 85, 74, 45, 57, 58, 85. You can now randomly enter any number. Now I'm going to enter 45, 75, 85, 95. Now we need to calculate total marks and percentage. Here in the next question, format all text and numeric data appropriately. Yes, it is already done. Next, center the spreadsheet heading across the spreadsheet. This is also done. Create a formula to compute the total marks and copy this to all the cells. 
now i want to calculate total marks so in order to calculate total marks we have two methods one is using equal to and individual subject we have to add so first subject marks is present in c3 cell plus second subject plus third subject plus fourth subject then enter so here we'll get the total marks this is the first method so second method is using built in function i'm going to use equal to sum and press tab i'm going to select all the four subject marks and put closing brace and press enter here we got the total marks using fill handle either you can drag and drop otherwise double click on this automatically it is going to calculate total marks next create a formula to compute percentage and copy this to all of the cells now we need to calculate the percentage in order to calculate percentage again there are two methods one is equal to we have to add all of these divided by 4 so subject 1 marks plus subject 2 marks plus subject 3 marks plus subject 4 marks divided by 3 so it, it must be whole divided by 3 so for that i have to write bracket right yes so here it is going to give us the error but what we can do here is you can press f2 to edit the formula so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to bring the cursor over here close the bracket close the bracket whole divided by 4 why because we have got four subjects press enter here we got the percentage using fill handle you can drag and drop otherwise one more method is so how did you get this 37.5 you can see here in the formula bar so using this formula we got this value so the second method is equal to we have got a built-in function called average average and press tab here i'm going to select all the four subjects and then close the bracket press enter you will get the same result so using fill handle just double tap it you will get the percentage so after this create a formula to compute the highest and lowest score using a library function so how to calculate highest score here i'm going to write one more column called highest and the next column called lowest score in a uh, in order to find the highest score we have to use the built-in function called equal to max here you can see max and press tab now i'm going to select the total marks correct so what they have asked create a formula to compute highest and lowest score using library function you either percentage or total marks you can select so entire range of total marks you have to select and close the bracket press enter so here you can see 378 is the maximum marks next minimum i'm going to write equal to min and press tab once again we have we are going to select the total marks entire range and then close the bracket press enter so minimum marks is 150 now let us check out the question draw a bar graph for register number against total marks let us go to insert tab and here in a insert tab we have got recommended charts so first i need to select the total marks then i have to click on bar graph here you can see we have got two dimensional bar graph and we'll bring this particular chart onto the right hand side and we'll make it a little bit smaller because i have to still insert the pie chart as well right so next you can see here draw a pie chart for one student showing his marks in different subject from total score so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to click somewhere and then click on insert and i'm going to select subject one subject two and subject three subject four marks of any student then click on pie chart click on two dimensional pie chart here you can see each of these color shows the subject here you can see blue color represents subject one orange or red color represent two 
and gray 3 and orange 4 i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you